What's up my single chat? So it's that time of the year when we're hearing about the next game, the next Battlefield game, ladies and gentlemen. It is happening, my brothers. It is happening. There's a video that I want to show you. There's also a live stream uh, page that we got that I also will talk about in this video. And apparently, we're hearing that the next Battlefield game could have the most realistic destruction effects in the industry. Yay! Oh, we're actually hearing about it. Now, obviously, they did say almost the same thing. Not necessarily that Battlefield 24 42 will have the most realistic destruction they did say that there will be a village okay there will be a village in one of the map which will be uh, fully destructible and Bruh. we never saw that coming but ladies and gentlemen let me dive into this video and then i want to talk about the live stream information stick around for that one and do you want to see destruction like the video if you want to see destruction dislike the video if you just don't care about it but check this out boys. insane destruction might actually be back in the next battlefield game and this news has definitely excited many fans of the franchise we have some evidence too <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I hope we get next level of destruction, man. I'm looking forward to the game. To back though. this up. Yeah. Let's take a look. This was okay. discovered by the Tech 4 Gamers website, and they found a job application for a VFX director on the EA website regarding oh, Battlefield. It includes the following language. Yo, even Toronto is involved? That's crazy. Ripple Effect and Evolution of Battlefield's Dice LA is a Los Angeles and Vancouver-based game studio Damn. on a mission to build community. This game better hit or it's Joe over for the entire franchise. I, any of you played Medal of Honor? We'll first talk experiences about it. through continuous innovation and boundary-breaking technology. We are looking for a senior 3D artist like you to help us create the most realistic and exciting destruction effects <laughs> in the industry. One of the work task examples was quite interesting too. It said, in this hands-on role, you will create stunning real-time visual effects using a mastery of high-quality particle effects. I really hope it is stunning, ladies and gentlemen. Those of you that remember Medal of Honor, I mean, Medal of Honor 2010, not talking about the Warfighter that came out, I believe, in 2013. Medal of Honor 2010 was an amazing, amazing FPS game. One of the most underrated pieces of FPS game. They flopped so bad with Medal of Honor Warfighter that they shut their entire studio down. They cancel it permanently. And this is the same thing I feel with this upcoming Battlefield game as well. If this game does not hit, I, I'm, I, I think it's Joe over then. Oh, shit. Yeah, I, I think this game needs to hit. Otherwise, it's going to be Joe over, boys. What do you think? Effects, textures, Wait and for it. shaders. Oh, now I know that it's easy oh. to read into these things too much, but that sounds like perhaps DICE are putting an emphasis on destruction for the new game. Okay. This is exciting to me personally in many ways. To start with, BF2042 did not have the level of destruction that I'd come to expect from a Battlefield game. Uh, uh, none of us, bro. None of us, dude. Ever since Bad Company, Battlefield was the franchise where you knew you were going to be able to blow holes in walls and crumble buildings Dang. to the ground. Bad Company 2. Even Bad Company, holy. Even Bad Company, and I did purchase Bad Company, I remember that. But uh, but I did not play when it first came out. You know what I'm saying? Bad Company 2, bro, I know that it. Squad Rush, yeah. Squad Rush on Port Wildest was my favorite, though. Two, and took Rush it to the well. next level. BF3 had you dropping the fronts of buildings on your enemies Man. with RPGs. And BF4, well, that had Skies. I would 110% take Battlefield 3 because the game was so realistic and so fun. It had realism and fun and a little bit of destruction. Certainly not like Battlefield 4. Certainly not like Bad Company 2. So my point here is that the game needs to be fun. And the game needs to feel like Battlefield. And then, you know, you can add, like, crazy amount of destruction. I guess in this day and age, you need to have some amount of destruction. But do you, do you think that they can top destruction like this in the next Battlefield game? Scrapers one collapsing one entirely. One BF1 and BF5, no. I think, showcased more detailed destruction with impressive visual effects combined. But with BF2042, as a long-standing fan and player of the franchise, the maps just didn't feel as alive or kinetic to me. Many walls uh -huh. and surfaces that may have blown into smithereens when you did. Minus 10 points for you, mother trucker. Detonated a C4. Dice will not invite you. <laughs> or on them in the past, no longer had a reaction. Perhaps this was an intentional design choice, but it could also have been a sacrifice that DICE had to make in order for 128 players. Get ready for the live stream info, and man, they truly had us in the first half with this trailer, bro. I remember we had some bad news right before this trailer dropped, then they dropped this trailer, and everybody was like... <laughs> Everybody was moisturized, everybody was unbothered, and everybody was hype, and everybody was like, bro, this game, this game, you see, it's gonna be Call of Duty, and 
to be honest, man, it's so sad and it's so like I I'm a fan of both franchises. Right now, Call of Duty sucks, massive. Battlefield is also not that good right now. I would say Battlefield is still a little bit better than Call of Duty, at least in its current state, because Modern Warfare 3, they shies the bed. And also, when Battlefield 2042 came out, they had the perfect opportunity to take over the Call of Duty refugees. Guys, you need to think about it. They came out back in 2021. They came out with Call of Duty Vanguard, also known as Van Garbage. They came out with that game and they came out with 2042 and they still couldn't beat Call of Duty. Call of Duty Van Garbage, that is just like, Battle amazing Battle it out on larger people. maps, Holy. while still keeping server performance in check. Some of the live service levels, however, that DICE added after launch did feature a bit more destruction. These uh -huh. newer maps were intentionally scaled down and catered to 64 players first. And you know okay. what, there are a few more things that you can blow up on those maps, but it's still like a what? bit underwhelming compared to the previous games. I agree. Most of I the agree. destruction though, you'll actually find in Portal, which- And Portal was also such a missed opportunity, Brad. This mod could have been absolutely amazing. Could have been absolutely amazing. This is where the hype was at. This is where the hype was through its peak, through the roof. And we were all like, bro, it's gonna have that remaster map, this remaster map. We're gonna have it in the normal playlist. We're gonna grind it. We're gonna rank. We're gonna get the XP. And uh, and when it, I'm not sure about now, but when it first came out, you couldn't even rank up. It was like the custom matches. Custom matches are not bad, but, but like, dog, at least have this in the primary server too, where you can play and get the XP to rank up as well. And later on, they nerfed it. There was a whole lot of BS with that too, to be Conveniently honest. Conveniently enough, it was made by Ripple Effect. So why? Why would DICE potentially be focusing on this? Well, I think that maybe they heard the feedback from 2042 to start with, and I they want so. to bring their explosive A game back next time. There's just I something so. so satisfying about destruction kills in some of the previous BF games that no other game up until recently managed to replicate. You know, myself and many other players missed that in 2042. So <clears> bringing, <throat> quote, exciting destruction effects and maybe rubble drop kills Man. back, for example. Look at this trailer. This trailer was amazing, bro. Would be an easy win, in my opinion. Secondly, other contemporary games are starting to catch up with DICE in terms of multiplayer yeah. destruction. And EA 400%. and DICE might be sitting back looking at those thinking, damn, we should really do that again. And I'm talking about games like <laughs> The Finals, for example, made by... Dog, there is no excuse! If The Finals can do it, EA with billions and billions of dollars, with all the resources, with all the NASA employees they got, with the NASA computers, all the resources, they surely can, and with decades of experience, mind you, they surely can bring a masterpiece home, bro. This is do or die. And guys, apparently, they're having their investor call on January the 30th at 2 p.m. Pacific, which is gonna be 5 p.m. Eastern. I will surely live stream and guys check out this video on the screen this is a massive video i did where we talk about all the fps games uh, we have a lot of new alternatives and a lot of new fps games coming out check out this video on the screen and i will see you right there check it out man we got some really good fps games on that that are coming out this